At only 13 years, she looks on helplessly as the nurse tends to her one-day-old baby boy. The nurse, after all, is doing what she as a mother wills to do, but yet try as she might, she cannot. Her being physically disabled does not allow her the luxury of cuddling her baby. And as the boy playfully makes his presence felt, only a keen eye can quickly tell that his left leg is deformed. A degree is a kubwa sana. Aneza saidiwa pengine akiwekewa akiwa mkubwa anaweza wekewa vitu vya kusaidia kutembea. Just hours earlier doctors had performed a cesarean section on the young mother after she started having contractions. Nilikuwa nimeogopa tu kidogo. But now her healing wounds are the list of her worries as reality hits hard. She's unable to breastfeed her son on her own and has to depend on the nurses to hold the baby for her. Yes, each time. The trauma for the grief-stricken school dropout started unfolding nine months ago. She was then reportedly raped by a 30-year-old man as she was going to school. Efforts by neighbors to have the accused arrested have been futile. Went to the scene and uh, unfortunately the suspect had already got information about the issue before the police did. And in that situation uh, the, the suspect disappeared. The twist of events only leaves her inconsolable. Her scars remain visible as the wills of justice remain stuck, just as they did when her ordeal hit the headlines barely three weeks ago. Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.